Happy holidays everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the Mudhorn Eggnog from the Star Wars Holiday Cookbook. The ingredients we're going to need are a two cups of whole milk, one cup of half and half, four large eggs that I've gone ahead and divided into the yolks and the whites, one stick of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, one third cup of granulated sugar, a half of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of confectionery sugar, and then I've got a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and those are the garnish for the top of our drink. So let's go ahead and move over to the stove, and we'll go ahead and start bringing the base of our eggnog together. Now that we're over here at my stove, in a cold pot, I'm going to go ahead and combine my egg yolks and my sugar, and then I'm going to cream these together with a whisk for about a minute until I'm sure that all of the egg yolk and sugar are completely and thoroughly combined. After a minute, our eggs and sugar should look like this, a nice pale yellow. I'm going to go ahead and start combining in my milk. Now that I have both the milk and the half and half in, I'm going to go ahead and whisk in my salt and the vanilla extract. At this point, you want to go ahead and uh, turn your stave on to about a medium setting and throw in your cinnamon stick. We're going to go ahead and let that simmer whole in here as we bring it up to roughly 170 to 180 degrees. That's going to take it about 10 to 15 minutes and this should thicken up slightly and sort of resemble a loose custard base. This has been going for 15 minutes, and I've gone ahead and removed it from the heat. As you can see, it is just slightly a little bit thicker than it was when we first started out. It smells really good. I've got it sitting here in a bowl of ice water to help rapidly cool it down just a little bit until I can place it over in the refrigerator and allow it to completely chill there. After about four or five minutes in that ice bath, this is safely cooled down enough that I can place it in the refrigerator. And while this recipe does not call for alcohol, at this point you could certainly add a couple of splashes of rum or whiskey, whatever you prefer in your eggnog. But again, I'm going to leave this alcohol free as the recipe states. I'm going to stick it in my refrigerator for a couple of hours to allow it to completely chill down. I should have mentioned earlier that I put my egg whites back into the refrigerator to allow them to stay cold while our eggnog base was chilling in the refrigerator. They will whip up much easier into peaks if they're cold than if you leave them at room temperature. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start whisking these until they start turning a little bit frothy. Once your egg whites start reaching this stage, they'll be nice and frothy and they'll start increasing in volume from the air that we're whipping into them. I'm going to go ahead and add in my confectionery sugar and I'm going to keep beating these until they reach about a medium peak. We're not looking for stiff peaks here. We just want something a stage above soft peaks. Now that I have my egg whites exactly where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cinnamon stick from the eggnog base. And we're simply going to add our egg whites straight into our base. And now all we need to do is mix these together until they're thoroughly combined. You're not looking to keep your egg whites stiff like this. You want them to mix completely into the eggnog base. Alright guys, there we go. Now that I have my egg whites completely mixed in, our eggnog is done and all we have left to do is give it a try and see what we think about it. Gone ahead and poured ourselves a glass of the eggnog and I did go ahead and dust the top with just a little bit of the nutmeg and cinnamon that I had sitting in that bowl and then I sprinkled the rest of it across and then I went ahead and swirled it in just to give this some added flavor. Let's go ahead and give it a try and see what we think about it. 
Well, as you can see, I have certainly enjoyed this cup of eggnog. It has been a very long time since I've had homemade, and I'm so glad I chose to make it this year. It is one of my favorite holiday treats that I look forward to every year, and this is so much better than anything you will get in a grocery store. The one thing I think I would do different is instead of garnishing the top with the nutmeg and cinnamon, I would completely take the cinnamon stick out of the recipe and not even use it. And I would take those garnishes of nutmeg and cinnamon and add them into the step where I was cooking down our custard base. But other than that, this is a very good recipe and I highly recommend you give it a try. If you guys would like to be part of the Gamers and Geeks playlist, leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to tell you how you can be a part of that list. Speaking of the playlist, I'll be leaving a link down in the description to it. We have over 350 different recipes contributed by you, our friends, and YouTube family. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys try this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.